92 world champion Fabrizio Bocca is in fourth place, and then Jones manages to qualify in fifth. Michael Werner leads the pack away from the start down towards turn one, but it's Elliot who's very close behind him. Into turn one, 23 boats tightly packed, and in the middle, an accident between Arturo Bernasconi and the Frenchman Bernard Seba. He's uninjured, but his boat is badly damaged. The race will be restarted after the driver is plucked from the water. On the restart, it's Andy Elliott this time who leads the pack ahead of Michael Werner. But the challenge for first place is incredible, as side by side and lap after lap, the British and German drivers battle it out for first place. The fight for third and fourth between Capellini and the Japanese driver, Werner's teammate, Tadaki Ishikawa, is no less fierce. This is the first run for the 94 DAC in full competitive form, and Capellini is still learning about the handling problems. Slowly and lap after lap, he drops back. The fight for third and fourth sees Ishikawa relegated to the pits, his boat destroyed. Capellini has also damaged his hull and is forced to pull out. Bertels continues to battle in mid-pack. The Valvoline Burgess performing incredibly well in its first Formula One race. Elliott, though, is forced to pull off the course, having led the Grand Prix for 15 laps. Werner, too, is relegated to the sidelines with a mechanical problem as his boat sits tantalizingly close to the pits but not close enough for the mechanics to work on it. Then Jones pulls out, having led the race as well. On the last lap, Steve Curtin has massive engine failure as the starter motor is blown off the side of the block.